Castle, the man, along with Max Holiday, that interfered in the tables match earlier tonight and essentially drove Arabian Sheik down in a hell. The irrelevant Sheik. Broke the table, blasted them through. They ruined the tables match. And now we're going to see a very tense environment as this ARW SCW clash is about to transpire. Two of the more polished and most impressive veterans of the scene over this last generation are about to square off for superiority. But it is in an SCW ring. One. I don't think so. I think they're here. Then for super bad Santana start. Last time Superbad Santana Starks was involved in a South Bay Championship Wrestling match. The tag team championships were on the line. Machine and Super Bad unsuccessful against Black Irish. Depending on whoever you talk to, it basically ended in a no contest. There were no winners on that occasion. But Superbad Santana Starks is one of the most respected veterans of the squared circle. Highly recognized, very experienced, multiple time tag team champion elsewhere. Yeah, and he's not getting the respect he deserves here tonight from this horrible crowd. And he's got a motto, Josh. He likes to destroy everything. He does. Oh, yeah. And Hunter Payne in the grip of Superman. There is a significant height and weight advantage that Hunter Payne carries into this match. And on that shoulder tackle, one of the tough guys from Mexico in the ARW scene just realized you cannot run into this brick wall and expect things to magically happen. Full of heritage, full of pride, but does he have the muscle to handle this big man? Superman's very loud and opinionated. He, pro he has this ability to provoke people very easily, just like Mr. Cruz on the outside of the ring. And it's all about disturbing the peace and showing that his path is the only path to success. If you were to ask Superman Santana starts, who is? The leader of the Mexicaners, who is the best tag team wrestler in this generation, he would say himself, Hunter Payne, over the past decade, a multiple time tag team champion. Well, although Josh, you really don't care, I'll tell you, Hunter Payne, former SCW heavyweight champion, the first ever SCW tag team champion, and to make mention of this, We're one of two of the only tag team champions this promotion has ever had. Black Irish being the other team. Trying to watch this match. Hunter Payne pulling the hair since he starts multiple times. I don't think he was pulling his hair. Well, it's not like Santana can pull Hunter's hair. Bottom line, Josh, when you have tension between A and SCW forces when you have seen the invasions firsthand as Hunter hits the hip toss. All of these invasions, all of this physicality, it has upset a lot of people. What happens when people are upset? They lose control of themselves. They, instead of human beings talking about things, Josh, they become animals. They just lose control of their emotions and they just go bonkers. Yeah, there's a lot of animals here tonight. Look at this crowd. Now our referee senior official Dave Talbot trying to ban, ban off Santana's a little bit of a breather here. Well, the official can't save him. Body slam. And this, the elbow drop. And that will crush your insides out. Eat your heart out, super bad. Just eating abuse at the hands of Southland's bully. This is the slowest crowd I think I've ever seen in an SCW ring. 
That was the most perfect, concise, consistent pass. It really was. What were you watching, Josh? A great senior official in Dave Talbot. There's a lot of people out to get Hunter Payne. You know that. The ARW locker room talks about it all the time. Social media, on their events, outside of the venues. They can't stand Hunter Payne. Well, he started this whole invasion himself. You sure about that? Oh. Yeah. I sure about that. Down two eyes. Watch out. Oh, way slam. Super bad as silly putty. Santana starts right now. So many enemies, but then again, when push comes to shove, super bad Santana starts is in enemy territory tonight, Josh. There are more enemies at Southland for him than there Friends. And that's why Hunter's got the edge on this one. I don't know what Hunter's problem is. Wait a minute! Should have took his eyes off the action. That Chop hits. block! He did that when Hunter wasn't looking! See, a veteran like Santana starts to never do that. Santana would always keep his eyes on his opponent. Great behind that left leg and drove it down, trying to injure that left ankle, the left kneecap, the tendons, the ligaments, the cartilage. Going after the calf muscle as well. Even the slightest of calf strings will really hurt a 300 pound man to the point of no return. And he won't be able to stand, he won't be able to hit any power moves. And this is a brilliant move on behalf of Superbad. Of course it is, he's trying to chop down the 300 pound tree that is Hunter Payne. He's doing a good job. Oh. Over and over, that leg is getting weaker and weaker. And super bad starts to yank and pull at the ankles oh, of Hunter Payne. What strategy by Santana? The official distracted by what strategy? Bob right there, Mr. Cruz, is that his name? Mr. Cruz, that is, that is right. Hunter Payne has been straddled on that post on the far side, one of the hardest surfaces, if not the hardest surface of the ring. And now having that right leg and right ankle crushed at the hands of Superbad. And once again, this official is doing absolutely nothing about it. Mr. Cruz is trying to make sure our ref is uh, on time with this matchup. Make sure he's all, all in the loop and everything. And it seems like everything's okay. Pain is playing in the corner. He's taken out armies of individuals by himself in the past, but he may have never faced an opposition like this on his own turf. And Superbad was able to weather the first storm of abuse. And maybe Hunter Payne is out of gas, and even worse, he might come up lame in this situation and he won't be able to stand up. The official might call this match early. Josh, if you were the official, would you stop this match? I would have stopped it before it began, because I would have known Santana would have dished an unbelievable amount of punishment on the Hunter Payne like he's doing right now. I don't think Hunter could take much more. Well, the argument, Josh, is that if you did that, you'd have to answer to the SCW fans. And if you are licensed as an official, like one Dave Talbot is, you would have to answer to those officials too. So just stopping a match unnecessarily before it even starts might not be the smartest idea. Trying to save Hunter Payne from utter embarrassment of what's happening right now. Look at him lying on his back. He's not doing so hot now, is he? That's your guy, isn't it? It's a very serious situation if Hunter Payne can't defend himself. Pull the hair again. Are you kidding me? That might have been out of desperation. What a cheap tactic. It might have been, but it was successful. Pump handle pickup into a side slam. Nicely done. Hunter's leg held up long enough to deliver that drop. And look at that. Hunter forced the hand a Talbot down three times. And Hunter Payne has determined that he himself is the winner and doesn't need Talbot's slow counts to make that choice. Hunter Payne wins tonight. You call it absurdity, but there was no choice. His hand went down whether Hunter forced it or not. And you know Dave Talbot.
does not want another steel chair to his back, so he better follow Hunter Payne's direction, or he may never referee a match in this area ever again. Your winner, Hunter Payne, decisively with the pump handle slamming drop, and Hunter Payne is walking. What a pleasant sight that is. Hunter Payne, a winner at Southland. Super bad, Santana starts, and one loud mouth down, and maybe one left. These fans all congratulate and enjoy the moment that they are sharing as Hunter Payne gets a measure of revenge. I sat back for many months as all this has been going on, have I not, people? Yes. I think it's time for me to get off the sideline, get in there, and kick Starks in the ass. I think it's time for me to get off the sideline, get in there, and kick Starks in the ass.